Key Capital News Director Sean Ashley joins us with more on the budget and other matters at the Capitol this week. Thanks for joining us, Sean. You're very welcome. So, uh, are we seeing any movement on the budget issues yet? Yes, I think there is some movement taking place. Uh, if you talk to the House Speaker, Charles McCall, as well as the House Minority Leader, Scott Inman, you hear that there are some talks taking place between them on, on a variety of issues, uh, which could lead to some discussions of some other tax issues down the road. Also, Senate Appropriations Chair Kim David and I spoke on Thursday, and she indicated that she, the governor's office, other senators, representatives of the House, and, and other individual members are in frequent uh, contact discussing various budget issues. The key problem right now seems to be that there is a lack of interest in supporting some of the proposals like those put forth by the governor to increase revenues. So they're having to look at other ways which they may be able to balance the budget facing a nearly $900 million hole. Um, now the legislature has moved closer to resolving the real ID issue, um, but not without some debate. That's right. The bill, uh, House Bill 1845 passed the Senate Appropriations Committee in a very long meeting on Wednesday after more than an hour and a half of consideration. Um, the concerns were sort of all over the map. Uh, some members were concerned with the fact that it will increase our driver's license fee, whether you get a real ID compliant license or a non-compliant license by $5 in order to fund the transition to the real ID compliant license. Uh, there is also concern over the collection of individual data. Um, while the representatives of the Department of Public Safety said you won't see any difference in the information that's being collected uh, for your license, the front will still look the same in terms of your name, address, and things like that. Uh, there is the opportunity that some of that data could be shared, although there are some limitations on that. And then some questions whether we needed to do this at all, whether those who want to travel or enter federal government buildings simply couldn't use their passport and the rest of the Oklahomans not be charged for the real ID compliance. So what are we looking forward to next week? We'll see uh, the last week of committee work for a while, and so there'll probably be a big rush to get some measures that have languished and not been considered yet into committees to be heard and then onto the floor. We will also begin seeing more bills on the floor of the House and the Senate as they begin the process of weeding those out in their individual chambers. Sean Ashley from eCapital, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome.